first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number four on the topic combinations now we are going to solve some of the miscellaneous question on this topic so friends don't forget to watch all the previous lesson so in lesson number one introduction i have taught you what is the major difference between permutation and a combination and also i have taught you the formula for combination and in lesson number two we have solved some of the basic question by using the formula ncr and in lesson number three previous lesson is the most important lesson in the topic combination so in the previous lesson what we learnt is we have solved some of the question that is based on a committee forming a group of five members or forming a group of three members in a committee either or neither nor none uh, at least at most so these are the concepts are most important in the topic combination and i have solved all the questions based on these concept in the previous lesson that is lesson number three so here in this lesson number four totally we are going to solve eight question and all these eight questions are a very easy question but you need to know all these concepts also what i'm going to solve now so now let me move on to eight question on this lesson number four Question number one. In how many ways can five cricketer be selected from group of ten? So friends, just listen. It's a very simple question, and it was the memory-based question of the railway exam. So what is our target? Our target is to select five cricketers out of how much? A group of ten. So total number of people are ten. Out of ten, our target to select a five cricketers. It's easy or not? What is the formula for combination? N C R. So here the value of n will be the total number of people in the group and r will be the selection. So according to the question here you can see the total number of group is how much? A group of 10. So totally we have 10 people. So 10 combination. Out of this 10 how many people, how many cricketers we need to select? 5 cricketers. So 10 c 5 that's it. right? So n will be the total, r will be the selection. So out of 10, our target is to pick 5. So 10 C5 cricketers, right? So now we need to write this 10 into, we need to reduce the number 10 5 times, right? So 10, 9, 8, 7 and 6 divided by, for this 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So all these things I have taught you in the basic itself, right? I don't want to explain here. So now we can cancel it. So we can cancel 4 into 2 will be 8 times directly. So 1 3's are 3, so we can directly cancel 3 3's are 9, so 1 5's are 5, 2 5's are 10, right? So 3 into 2 will be 6, so 6 6 are 36 here, so 36 into 7, 42, so reminder will be 4, 21, so 21 plus 4 will be 25, 252. So finally answer for question number 1. So 252 ways you can select 5 cricketers out of total 10. So this will be the answer for question number 1. Question number 2. A question paper has two parts, part A and part B. And each containing 10 questions. If the student has to choose 8 questions from part A and 5 questions from part B, in how many ways he can choose the question? So friends listen here, the question looks so lengthy but the concept is very easy. So totally there are two parts right, part section, one is part A according to the question what they are saying, second is part B. And each part totally how many questions are there, 10 questions each, so 10 and 10 right, so total. So this act as a n, so the value of n will be total that is 10, so 10 question in each section. And the student has to choose 8 questions from part A. Totally how many questions are there? 10 questions. So out of 10 questions, student has to select, he has to choose how many questions? 8 questions, right? From part B, he has to choose 5 questions. Just listen here. So between these two sentences, there is a word called and. Yes or no? If the student has to choose 8 questions from part A and 5 questions from part B. In the previous lesson, I have told you, wherever you find the word and and are, most important, right? If you find the word and, it's called as multiplication. And if you find the word or, it is called as an addition. So here we have found the word and, 
which is called as multiplication right so 10 c 8 into 10 c 5 so now we need to solve it just listen here 10 c 8 is a very lengthy number in the introduction i have told you we can also simplify this as 10 10 minus 8 will be 2 so 10 c 2 into 10 c 5 so now let me solve this so 10 c 2 can be written as 10 into 9 by 1 into 2 so similarly 10 c 5 so 10 uh, 10 c 5 s okay so 10 into 9 8 7 6 so divided by 1 2 3 4 5 so we can cancel 1 2s are 2 5 2s are 10 which is 9 5s are 45 here so 45 into so previously we have solved right we got an answer 252 so similarly we can cancel 5 into 2 10 1 3s are 3 3 3s are 9 1 4s are 4 2 4s are 8 so finally 3 into 2 will be 6 6 6 are 36 so 36 into 7 will be 252 so into 252 so now target to find how many ways it can be done that is total right we need to multiply it so 5 into 2 will be 10 so reminder will be 1 so 4 5 25 4 into 2 will be 8 so 25 8 will be 33 so 33 plus 1 will be 34 so reminder will be 3 so next we need to cross it so 4 2s are 8 2 10 3 13 so 3 okay so last number is 2 so 5 4s are 20 sorry 4 2s are 8 8 plus 3 will be 11 1 1 3 4 0 so finally we can say that answer for question number 2 is 1 1 3 4 0 ways a student can select 8 question from part A and 5 question from part B a total this much of ways he can choose the question so this will be the answer for question number 2 so remember that the question looks very lengthy sometimes you know the question seems to be very much lengthy but the solving procedure is simple but every time while solving a combination question first you need to know the formula ncr and the second important thing is wherever you find the word and is called as multiplication and wherever you find the word is or is called as an addition so this will be the answer for question number two question number three so find the number of ways of selecting nine balls from a six red five white and five blue balls if each selection consists of three balls of each color so friends first we can read the question again first let me understand the question what they are asking and what are all the values they have given in the question so find the number of ways of selecting nine balls so our target is to totally select nine balls out of which five white balls are there six red balls just see here there are six red balls right and the five white ball okay and five blue balls so out of these total our target is to select nine balls but according to the last point what they are saying is if each selection consists of three balls of each color three balls of each color what is the meaning of it from every color our target is to select three three balls so that totally our target is to select nine balls so now i can say that from this six red we have to select three balls of same color so similarly out of five white three balls of same color so out of five blue three balls that's the thing what they have given on the last point so three balls of each color so from red three balls from white three ball from blue three ball according to the first line of the question totally our target is to select nine balls so three plus three plus three will be nine so now we need to find the answer right so totally there are six red out of six red our target is to select three balls and which is called as multiplication again from five white ball our target is to pick three white balls and which is multiplication from five blue ball our target is to pick three blue balls right so totally we have picked the nine balls and three three balls from each color understood so now we need to solve it so 6 c3 can be written as 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 so 5 c3 so 5 4 3 divided by 1 2 3 so 5 c3 again 5 4 both are same right okay 
so 5 4 3 so divided by 1 2 and 3 so now we need to cancel it we can cancel 3 2 so 6 directly here so we can cancel 3 and 3 3 and 3 so 1 2 so 2 2 2 so 4 1 2 so 2 2 2 so 4 that's it so finally we have 20 so 5 into 2 will be 10 5 into 2 will be 10 so finally 2000 so 2000 ways we can select 9 balls out of this total given balls from each color 3 ball is selected so this will be the answer for question number 3 question number 4 so in examination A has to select 4 questions from each part there are 6, 7 and 8 questions in part 1, part 2 and part 3 so what is the number of possible combination in which A can choose the question so it friends, it's very easy question. Again, the question that is related to question number two concept. So in question number two, what we have seen is part A, part B. Each part consists of 10, 10 questions. So similarly, here a student has to select four questions from three parts. So part A consists of how many questions? Six questions. Part B, seven questions. Part C will be eight questions, right? A student has to select four questions from each part. So now we can say 6C4. So from part 1, 4 question is selected and right. So from part 2, 4 questions selected. Again from part 3, 4 questions selected. That's it. So if you solve this um, number, you will get the answer, right. So this will, this will be the total number of ways where the student can select 4 questions out of these 3 parts. Right? If you want, you can solve it or else look at the option and try to solve in the easier way right so 6c4 so 6c4 can be written as 6c2 so similarly 7c4 can be written as 7c3 8c4 can be written as 8c4 as it is right so 6c2 will be 6 into 5 by 1 into 2 so 7 6 and 5 divided by 1 2 and 3 so 8c4 can be written as 6 and 5 so divided by 1 2 3 4 so all these things they have taught you in the introduction itself how to expand this so now we need to cancel it 1 2s are 2 3 2s are 6 so this will be 10 so 3 2 6 we can cancel it so this will be 35 so 4 into 2 will be 8 so we can cancel 8 here 1 3s are 3 2 3s are 6 so 5 into 2 will be 10 so 10 into 7 will be 70 so now 10, 70 into 10 will be 700, sorry I think 5 into 3 will be 15 here. So it is 15, 35, 70. So now we can write this as 5, 5 is at 25, remainder will be 2. So 5, 3 is at 15, 15 plus uh, 20, 22, so remainder will be 2, 525. So 525 into 70, again this will be 0, 7, 5 is at 35. So remainder will be 3, so 14, 14 plus 3 will be 17, so remainder will be 1, 35, 36, so 3, 6, 7, 5, 0. So this will be the answer for question number 4. Question number 5. In how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players be selected out of 16 players if 2 players are always included? So friends, just see here, before solving this question, this concept that is based on included and excluded if you take any aptitude books that is based on a combination topic you can at least see 10 to 12 question that will be based on included and excluded most important concept first before solving a question you guys need to know what is called as included and what is called as excluded for example let me take any example for a uh, you are included in the max classroom. What is the meaning of it? You are included in the max classroom. So you are allowed to attend the max classroom. That is the meaning of it. You are excluded from the max classroom. What is the meaning of excluded? You are eliminated from the max classroom. You are not allowed to enter into the max classroom. So included you are allowed. Right? excluded you are eliminated that is the meaning of it right so now in this question in how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players to be selected out of 16 players just see here totally how many players are there 16 players and what is a target out of the 16 players how many players we have to select 
11 players we have to select but according to the last point two players are always included what is the meaning of it two players are always included just see out of this 16 players totally there are 16 players out of this 16 players two players are always included in the team out of this 11 two players are always included let me take a uh, captain Virat Kohli will always be in the team he cannot be eliminated yes or no captain and vice captain will always be in the team those two guys are not eliminated from the team so now 16 players will not be there only 14 players will be there why because two players are always included two players are selected already right now totally there are 11 players from 16 players two players are always included two players are already selected so now only nine players we have to select from 14 players so 14 players totally our target is to select nine players so 14 c9 understood this logic or not friends right so totally there are 16 players out of 16 players our target is to pick 11 cricket players got it but according to the last point what they are saying is two players are always included in the team so out of this 16 players two players are included always so eliminate the two players so remaining will be 14 players our target is to select 11 players but out of this 11 players just now they are telling two players are always included so two players are already selected so remaining will be nine players so from 14 players our target is to pick only nine players so this can be written as 14 c9 so 14 c9 can also be written as 14 c5 both are same yes so now we can say 14 into 13 into or else i can write here right so 14 13 12 11 1 2 3 4 5 right so 10 divided by 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we can cancel 5 into 2 10 times here 4 into 3 12 times here so remaining are 14 into 13 into 11 so 4 threes are 12 remaining will be 1 7 1 8 so 182 into 11 so this will be uh, 180 2 into 10 plus 1 you can write like this so 1280 into 182 so now we can say 2 8 2s are 10 remaining will be 1 8 9 10 remaining will be 1 2 so 2 0 0 2 so this much of ways they can select uh, 9 cricket players out of 14 understood friends so this will be the answer for question number 5 so easy question just you need to understand how I eliminated two players if two players are always included then we have to select only nine players out of 14 players because two players is always included let me assume that the two players will be captain and vice captain so those two players will always be included in the team we don't want to select them they are already selected right so we can say that only out of 14 players our target is to pick nine players so 14 c9 so finally answer for question number five is 2002 question number six in how many ways can a cricket team of 11 player be selected out of 16 players if one particular player is always excluded just see here totally how many players are there 16 players right out of this 16 players our target is to select how many players 11 players but one player is excluded from the team what is the meaning of one player excluded one player is eliminated for example let me take coach coach cannot be in the team so coach will be always eliminated Coach cannot be in the list of selection so out of 16 player the coach is eliminated we assume like that one player is excluded the coach is eliminated so remaining how many players will be there 15 players so out of 15 players our target is to select 11 players so now this can be written as 15 c 11 so this can also be reduced as 15 c 4 that's it so we need to solve it so 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 so divided by 1 2 3 and 4 so we can say 4 into 3 will be 12 we can cancel 12 here 1 2s are 2 7 2s are 14 
So finally, I think 1365, right? We have solved many questions like this. 15, 13, 7 will be 1365. So this will be the answer for question number 6. Friends, understood? Just see what is the major difference between the previous question and this question. Previous question, one person is always included. So we have eliminated one number from here and one number from here. Because that particular player is included. But in this question, one player is excluded. He is eliminated. He cannot be in the selection list itself. So from 16 player, if one player is eliminated, remaining will be 15 players. But out of 15 player, you should not select only 10 player. That is wrong. Because that guy has been eliminated from the selection list. You should not consider him. So out of this 15 player, our target is to select 11 cricket players. So 15 C11. So that is the major difference between included and excluded. Included, he will be in the team. Excluded, he is not be in the selection list itself. He is eliminated from the complete selection process. Right. So finally, this will be the answer for question number six. Last seventh question. So in how many ways can a cricket team of 11 players to be selected out of 16 players if two player is always included and one particular player is always excluded? So friends, just see here, totally how many players are they? 16 players. Out of 16 players, right, our target is to select how many players? 11 players. Right, totally there are 16 players and our target is to select 11 players. Out of this 11 players, just read the point, two particular player is always included. What is the meaning of it? Two person is already selected in the team. So now out of 16 players, two players are already selected. So now how many players will be remaining? Only 14 players will be remaining. So already two players are selected. So the remaining will be only nine players yet to be selected. Friends, got the logic or not? Because two player is already included. So already two player is selected. So now only 14 players will be remaining. So if already two players are selected, then we don't want to select 11 players. Only we need to select 9 players in a team. And second point, two player included and one particular player is to be excluded. What is the meaning of excluded? Eliminated. So out of this 14 player, one player is eliminated. So how many players will be remaining? 13 players will be remaining. Because one player is eliminated. So from 14 player, if one player is eliminated, then the remaining will be 13 players. So now our target to select 9 players out of 13 players. This will not change. Because our target is to pick 9 players. Only one player is eliminated from the list. So we can say out of this 14 player, if one player is eliminated, then the remaining 13 players will be there. So from 13 player, our target is to select how many players? 9 players. So this can be written as 13 C9, right? So 13 C4. This can also be written as 13 C4. We can eliminate 13 and 9 will be 4. So remaining will be 13 C4 can be written as 13 into 12 into 11 into 10 so divided by 1 2 3 and 4 so we can cancel 4 3s are 12 directly here 1 2s are 2 5 2s are 10 so 13 into 11 will be 3 and this will be 4 1 into 5 so 5 3s are 15 1 5 4s are 21 21 so remaining will be 2 7 15 this 20, 20 plus 1 will be 21, remaining will be 2, 7, 15. So 7, 15 will be the answer for last question. So friends, if you take this combination topic and quantitative aptitude, always remember that, that lesson number 3 is most important. What we questions that we solved in the previous lesson. For example, the questions like a committee of 5, committee of 4, include for at least, at most, those concepts are most important. You can able to see those questions are repeatedly asked in many competitive exams as well as in IT interviews. And in this lesson number 4, first 4 questions are easy, right? But from question number 5, question number 6, question number 7 or the concepts that is based on included and excluded, very most important. So if you take a combination topic, you can able to see question from these two sections. 
right so after watching this video so start learning and start solving more number of questions that is based on included and excluded so only if you solve minimum of 20 to 30 question you can be strong on all these concepts so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye